Sagittarius, welcome to your just in time tarot reading. If you're watching this, Saggy, trust that there's a message here for you. And that message begins with these two horrible cards that just jumped out. I normally choose one, but we've got two, so we're honoring that. We have got, it's time to release negativity and bring love into the situation. A full moon and a new moon energy. Okay, well look, maybe there is a new beginning that you're wanting to move towards. Now you're being asked to bring love into the situation, Saji. So it might be an act of self-love for you to accept that it's time to release in order to move towards the new. Now, Scorpio energy and Aquarius energy has come out. You might be dealing with one of those signs. But we are in Scorpio season right now. And the Scorpio energy is associated with the death card. Release, letting go in order to transform our reality. Now there might be some, you know, some negative emotions here. Negative thoughts, worst case scenario thinking that's going on here. You're being asked to release that and look at the bigger picture here, Saji. All right, well, let's get deeper into this and see where it's heading. Got the Oracle of the Angels here. And I have positive intention. Okay, so you're being asked to shift back into, you know, faith, hope, belief here and set your positive intentions. You will receive the fruits of your labors, positive outcomes here. Okay, but maybe there is some shifts here that need to happen. You're being asked to bring love and compassion and empathy into the situation. All right, Saji, I'm going to the accurate AF round tarot now. Okay, no, that's too many there. We will put them back in and go for a pull. Here we go. The Page of Wands. Okay, I have to say that this is a really beautiful energy of good news. It is about new potential and new growth entering your life. The thing about the Page of Wands is it often comes in after a period where there's been a dry spell, right? Maybe there hasn't been growth. Maybe you know, you've sort of felt like, well, there's no opportunity coming my way. Maybe that's what this is about. Well, it's time to release that negativity that confirms that lack, you know, or that void thereof, those opportunities. Come back to the energy of positive intention and love, because that is one of the most magnetic energies. And I think if you do, you're going to find that new growth. Maybe you attract that opportunity that you're looking for. Yes, Ace of Pentacles. There you go. And it comes in. And it's the solid, stable uh, embodiment of this goal. Okay, so the Ace of Pentacles themes. This could be, you know, a new work career situation. New contract. New commitment. New, new finance. Okay, new home. It's new, solid, stable beginnings that bring success. Some of you might be getting some recognition or, you know, being rewarded in some way. So I just feel that maybe there's a bit of a losing hope energy or when's it going to be my time or nothing's happening. But just with a little bit of an energetic shift, you become a magnet for some kind of beautiful new beginning. Yeah, the shadow is here. That's the devil. And I totally feel that that is tuning into that energy of negativity here. And it, it's it's not necessarily saying that you, you know, are holding negative energy or you're a negative person. So you please don't think I mean that. But it just feels that you are feeling powerless uh, in what you're trying to create here or make happen. And the thing is that if that goes on for some time where we don't see results showing up, especially if we feel like we've been working hard towards something, we can really start to feel, you know, weighed down by that. So again, we need to overcome the shadow element here by continuing to be in our power through action, but also positive intention. Now it's Capricorn energy as well. The Hermit, yeah, so Virgo energy coming through and this is an energy of deep inter, you know, introspection and soul searching and healing. So you're being asked to go within and look at that pattern within yourself, okay? And then, you know, once you've kind of got clarity on that, you know, and through conscious awareness, you can bring a different energy to your situation. Now, I've got Virgo energy, Capricorn energy. You might be dealing with one of those signs here. 
But yeah, it's a we've got a lot of positive indications of you know recovery or healing from a setback here. Two of Swords is here, and this can be sometimes an energy of indecision, you know, or or weighing things up here. So again, I just feel like this is a time for you to be in your power. Make sure that you are making active decisions from a place of fact, logic, emotional intelligence, and intuition. You know, it could be that, you know, there's an opportunity here that is being orchestrated for you, but maybe you've been sort of trying to attract that uh, without putting that active action in place. Well, it's time to absolutely go for it. That's what I'm getting here. Yeah, the emperor, exactly. Aries energy coming through. And this is the energy of making bold boss moves to absolutely have your eyes on the prize and go after what you want here. If you step up into this energy, I just feel that this Ace of Pentacles can be yours. Like the Emperor is this energy where you want to level up. Like maybe you're wanting a promotion or a pay rise. Maybe you feel like you haven't been recognized for the type of work that you're doing or you're not being seen or heard. Now, uh, you're being asked to release that negativity come back to positive intention, keep taking that action. And I just feel that with that energetic shift, you will be recognized, you will be noticed. That's what we have here. And that Ace of Pentacles will be yours. So I am feeling a little bit more sort of goal, money, work, careers -y with this reading. And I really feel that, you know, you're wanting that opportunity. But just remember, it's an inside job first. And the energy that you hold on the inside is absolutely what you're projecting out, Sag. So you're being asked to lift the level here. And if you do, I think there's going to be a decision in your favor. And you are going to come out as the emperor. So I'll leave it there, Sag. I'm wishing you the very best with this energy. If you would like a personal reading to tune into your specific circumstances, please do follow the first link down below to my website and you can check those out. Don't forget to like, share, comment. Please do hit subscribe as well on your way out. I'd be so grateful for that. And I'll see you back here in two days time for your weekly tarot reading, Saggy. And also your 2024 yearly tarot reading is on the way, all going well. That will be dropping at 7.30 p.m. this coming Friday night, Australian Eastern Standard Time, Northern Hemisphere Seekers. That is your very early Friday morning. And I am really excited to bring you this reading. So uh, there will be a premiere. It'll be set in my uh, videos if you go onto my channel page. So you can uh, be notified when it does drop. Okay, at this time, it has not been recorded yet. I fingers crossed I'm going to get it get to it. That is my intention. So I'll do my very best. In the meantime, I'm just wishing you so much love and magic. Bye for now.